Welcome, this is a demonstration of Snippin and its associated Chrome extension Snippy. What is Snippin? Snippin is a repository of snippets that have been collected and shared by web users. Snippet is a portion or a clip of a web page that you're interested about and you want to collect and keep for future reference. How do you go and collect snippets from the web? Well, you can do so using our Chrome extension which is called Snippy. How do you install it? First, you go to this website which is snippin.appspot.com and you click the link Chrome extension. From here you can read the instructions and install the Snippy Chrome extension. Chrome now asks us for permission and we allow them. We install the extension and once you're done you see that you have an extra icon on top of the Chrome window. So now you can go to any website you're interested in and start grabbing snippets from that website. It could be anything, right? It could be Twitter, Wikipedia, um, it could be eBay, it could be Amazon, it could be Google. So let's say, for example, we want to create a shopping list of potential Christmas presents that we want to give our relatives. And so, for example, let's start by going to Amazon.com and let's say we are looking for, I don't know, DVDs of a famous comedian. And then while we browse the list we find that some items are interesting to us and we want to keep them. Then we click the icon and we say snip it. And you can see we have this blue overlay that shows us what is currently highlighted on the page. And then you click on any item you find interesting. So for example, let's say we want to keep this and we want to keep this item as well and maybe some other item as well uh, let's say this you can do this for as many websites as you want once you've finished you click the done button and here above you can see how many snippets you have collected so far by clicking the icon again and clicking show snippet you can see the list of snippets you have collected so far you can add comments You can change the title of your list. And once you're done, you can share this list on the web. So first thing we do is to save this snippet online. And once this has been done, you can go and view your item and it will be it is available on Snipbin and as you can see it's exactly the same as the one you captured on your computer. Once you're satisfied with this, if you want, you can make it public and now everybody will be able to access it. Or you can keep it private and it will be available only to you. So let's make it public. Now everybody in the web can access this snippet. You can forward this URL to any of your friends or anybody in the world and they will be able to see the snippets you have collected so far. Once you are satisfied and you no longer want this snippet, you can always delete it. You can manage your li the list of snippets you have collected so far from the My Snippets link. And you can also see the public snippets that everybody in the world has uploaded and, make it, and made it available to the world. That's it. I hope you find this useful and if you have any questions, please visit snippin.upspot.com and check the information available over there. Thanks.